what are the chickenpox and what causes the virus and how does it work in your system? So the chickenpox, commonly known as the chickenpox, is caused by the varicella virus. Okay. And varicella is a respiratory virus. You can catch it by respiratory droplets, meaning sneezing, coughing, or even saliva. Mm -hmm. And when the virus uh, invades the body, it'll cause this reaction where you'll have viral symptoms such as malaise, fever, headache, and then you'll break out with this rash, which we call a viral exanthem, mm -hmm. and the rash will present all over the body. Is it related to herpes virus? It's in the family. The herpes virus has many types of viruses in its family and because they have the same uh, DNA structures. Right. So yes, varicella is in the family of the herpes viruses. Okay, so now chicken pox, why is it so common in kids? Well, chicken pox, chicken pox was so common in kids because it's so contagious. Right. Again, it's transmitted by respiratory droplets. So kids that are sneezing, coughing, rubbing their nose, touching each you're other. Basically, kids basic doing their usual thing. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so it's very easy to transmit. But thankfully, we were able to almost eradicate the mm -hmm. chicken pox with the varicella vaccine mm -hmm. that came out in the early 90s. I, I remember uh, when, um, gosh, I don't think anyone forgets their first time with chicken pox. I can still imagine myself in that bed full of caladryl that your parents would put on you and like right. wanting to scratch yourself and it's like the one right. thing you can't do. Right. But you know, I, obviously not done anymore, but back then they used to actually put all these kids together and say, well, let's just get you all together so you all at least all get infected. Exactly, that was the chicken pox parties that happened all the time when <laughs> we were kids. You know, the idea was you just didn't want it, well, back then you didn't right. want to miss work when one kid was sick and go back to work and then the other one gets it. Absolutely. Um, so yes, it was definitely beneficial for everyone to have it at the same time. It wasn't really to prevent them from getting it again. It was just kind of to have everybody sick at once, take care of everyone at the same right. time and then move on. That's a party I do not want an invite yes. for. That one, no. Okay, <laughs> so w once you have the chicken pox, can you get them again? Or are you immune to chicken pox? Right. Well, with any virus, um, I think the common misconception is that once you get a virus, you're immune or impervious to getting it again. Right. The reality is you develop antibodies against that specific virus. So you're able to fight it faster and a lot more efficiently than you were before. So you can certainly catch a virus again it might not be as serious and it might even go unnoticed because your body is actually finding it.